operatic tale of Emperor Jones opens in the Emperor's shabby palace. Brutus Jones reigns a tyrant over an island of terrorized Negroes. Pompous, brutal Brutus Jones was once a Pullman porter, a petty thief, then a murderer, an escaped convict who swam through shark-infested waters to crawl half-dead on the sands of a torrid, turbulent island. Sin ruled by his cruelty, crafty and brutal, obsessed by an insatiable lust for money and power, and by fake magic set himself up as a god. Unknown to him, his days of power are numbered. Henry Smithers, a cheap cockney trader, spying on Jones, sees the last of Jones's servants desert the palace. He forces from her the confession that all the ignorant blacks of Jones's court have thrown away their civilized clothes, joined the bushnickers in the hills where they are working themselves into a frenzy, invoking the gods of voodoo to aid them in smashing their tyrant, the Emperor Jones. The news pleases Smithers, who hates yet fears Jones. As the terrified woman runs away, Smithers whistles shrilly to stop her. Then the Emperor Jones swaggers into the room. Foxes, I thought you was. Where's all your court, the generals and the cabinet ministers and all? Where they mostly runs the minute I closes my eyes. Drinking rum and talking big down in the town. How come you don't know that? I got to, ain't I, in my business? <laughs> your business. Course, <laughs> you was glad enough to take me at your minute when you landed here first. You didn't have no mighty airs in them days. Stop for life, white man. Uh, all right. You hear me? How's boss here now? Is you forgetting? No, I meant old pop. I accept your apology. No use in you raking up old times. What I was then is one thing. What is now is another. From stowaway to emperor in two years. <laughs> That's going, son. Blimey, I'll never see that bloke has had the blooming luck as you have. Luck? What do you mean, luck? I suppose you say as that swank about the silver bullet ain't luck. And that was what first got the blacks on your side at the time of the revolution, wasn't it? Oh, that silver bullet show was luck. But I'll make that luck, you hear? Yes, sir. When the murdering nigger hired to kill me, take him ten feet away, and his gun misses fire, and I shoot him dead, what do you hear me say? You said you'd got a charm so no lead bullet could kill you. You were so strong, only a silver bullet could kill you. It was plain fatty luck. Oh, God, brain. Then I used it some quick. That ain't luck. <laughs> and there all them fool bush niggers was kneeling down and bumping their heads on the ground like I was a miracle out of the Bible. <laughs> What's this I hear about you really having a silver bullet molded for yourself? It's plain out my bluff. I has the silver bullet molded, and I tells them when the time comes, I'll kill myself with it. Because I'm the only man big enough to get me. <laughs> and yet it's made on it. Show this. Here she be. She's my rabbit foot. Let me see it. Keep your hands where they belong. Oh, the blooming charm, what? Where you need all the bloody charm yet yeah, before long, so help me. Oh. Uh, I's good for six months yet before they get sick of my game. Then when I see trouble coming, <laughs> I'll mix my getaway. Where to? None of your business. Not back to the bloody state. Why don't I? You mean count of that story about me breaking jail there? <laughs> That's all talk. Oh, yes. You ain't insinuating as a lawyer, is you? No, no, of course not, me. I was only thinking of the bloody lies you tell about killing white men in this place. How come the lies? Well, maybe I does kill one white man back there. Maybe I does. 
And maybe I'll kill another right girl if you don't look out. Can't you take a joke? Maybe I'll go to jail for getting in an argument with razors over a crap game. Maybe I'll get 20 years when that colored man dies. Maybe I'll get another argument with the prison guard that was overseer over us when we're working the road. Maybe he hit me with a whip and I'll split his head with a shovel and runs away. Maybe I'll tussle that and maybe I'll go. It's a story I tell you. Who should know what the kind of man that he shall repeat one word of it? I beat on you, not me. Ain't I always been your friend? So you have, and you better be. And just to show you I am your friend, I'll tell you that bit of news I was going to. Uh, go ahead. Must be bad news from the happy way you look. I ain't noticed any of the guards or servants about today, I haven't. All I've got to do is to ring the bell. And they come flying. Ring the bell and you'll bloody say, well, see what I mean. Sure I will. Where's my major Dorma? Don't you hear me? Where are you, love on, bush nigger? Keep on ringing. Uh, you... Yeah, I'm as good as I can. Ah! In six months more? <laughs> well, I'll cash us in and resigns the job of the Emperor right this minute. Nine me. But you're a cool bird. No use, Button. When I know the game's up, I kisses it goodbye. Mm, let me see. Three thirty. Sundowns at six thirty or thereabouts. Mm, there's plenty of time to make it easy. Uh, don't be so blooming sure. Even a native can get lost in that forest. Look here, white man. I knows that big forest high and low like a book. I could know them trails with my eyes shut. Dawn tomorrow, I'll be out on the coast where that French gunboat is staying. And there I'll sit with a mighty big bankroll in my jeans. I'll make them ignorant niggers look sick, I will. But supposing something happens wrong and they do nag you. Well, what I've you got five lead bullets in this gun good enough for common bush niggers. And after that, I've got the silver bullet left to cheat them out of getting me. Oh, well, I was forgetting the silver bullet. You'll bump yourself off in style, won't you, blimey? When this baby quits, he quits with a bang the way he ought. What's that? It, what? What's that drum beating for? For you. That means the bloody ceremony is started. Ceremony? What ceremony? The blacks is having the war dance. Getting their courage worked up before they start off. Uh, let them. They'll sure need it. <laughs> Takes more than that to scare this chicken. Hey, you'll find your bloody hair will be standing on end before tomorrow morning. It's a bleeding queer place, that stinking forest. You don't know what might happen in there. It's that rotten still. <sighs> Does you speck are silly enough to believe in spooks and ghosts? Along, well, white man, you ain't talking to me. And don't forget, I've got a little silver bullet all of my own. But I ain't got no time to waste no more fool talk with you. I was leaving right here and now. So long, white man. I'll see you in jail sometime, maybe. Ain't you taking no grub with you? Did not say I had this man. I got plenty of grub buried where I know, in the forest. I say, look here. You ain't going out in that way, are you? Hey, did you think I'd sneak out the back door like a common nigger? I was Emperor Jones yesterday, And Emperor Jones leads the way he comes by the front door. And that black flash don't dare stop him. Listen to that roll call, will you? 
<laughs> it must be a mighty big drum for the care of that far. Well, if they ain't got no whole brass band to see me off, I sure got the drum part of it. <laughs> so long, white man. Does you hear that nigga? 
getting on your way again. Oh, miles have gone almost. You hit the coast in the morning, then you was all safe. Lord Jesus! Lord Jesus, what's that, Hoppy? That road there! That's that prison guard! That's the prison guard! No! Don't whip me, sir! Don't whip me! I'm working hard as I can! Oh, sir, don't whip me! Oh, oh, damn your soul! I'll get deep with you! Where's my shovel? Give me my shovel and I'll split his damn head! Give me a shovel, one of you, for God's sake! I'll kill you, you white devil, you prison guard, if it's the last thing I ever does. Go to the devil, I'll kill you again. Oh, oh, Lord.
don't have the dead. I'm scared of real men. Let them come. But the others, oh, the others, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that's really 